special shout out to all my awesome tier 3 members and patrons, Riptide, Anik D, Z Wanderer, Matthew Hall, Shaolin Kelly, Yushika Bay, and Medlo for their amazing support. Hey guys, and welcome back to 7 Estelai Darkness Falls mod. So, um, yeah, last episode I left you guys a little, it's kind of a cliffhanger. This thing is caving in. Um, now there could be a few explanations. I'm actually going to try this quickly. Oh, I messed up with that block. Remember, this floor is a little deeper than it should be. Height also plays a factor when it comes to structural integrity. So if I can make sure that the blocks underneath this is titanium, or rather is one block higher, it should help with the structure as well. Um, the higher you go, for example, say a block can hold five up to its side. If you were to go up like 100 to 200 blocks, it would definitely hold way less than that, like way less. Now I made a mistake over here. I just hope the zombies don't get stuck there. I'm probably gonna have to take that out later and just replace it or something, because that is definitely gonna cause a problem. Okay, so, um... Oh, moment of truth. Please don't keep caving in. So we do this, we do this, we do this. Well, it's not showing red or yellow blocks, so that's really good. Nice. It didn't show that red block. Well, it showed a red block, but not for that reason. Okay, I'm just gonna do this then. Just keep on adding for more structure. Remember, if the zombies explode the first layer, the first pole, the second layer underneath it is going to make sure the zombies can still pass towards you. It's going to slow them down a little bit because they have to jump or do a little bit of a jump thing. Wait, why does this show red just now? This is fine, but that's red. I think that might be a bug because it would show red for everything if the structure integrity was that bad. Okay, so this should do the trick. This one over here in the corner could have actually been like a, a ramp block or something. But I think adding the floor over here just now helped. What we should now be focusing on is getting as much blocks or as many blocks over here to help out. Um, I just realized as well. We're going to have the electric fence post over here. So where am I going to put the stairs? I'm going to have to have the stairs to the back over here and then turn for the zombies. I just realized if we put the electric fence post over here... We put an electric fence post over there, and that that's a walkway. Okay, we can do the exact same thing we did last time. The stairs can go up from over here. So the zombies have to turn at the back, and then that's going to allow us to just throw molotovs and stuff down at the zombies. Okay, we're definitely not going to have enough titanium, though. So I wonder... The walkway for now is done, right? I just need to make the stairs. The stairs definitely need to be titanium. And then over here, I think, also needs to be titanium where the zombies are falling. You don't want to demolish a falling over here and then exploding immediately. But the problem is... If a demolisher falls over here, it's going to run to the stairs a bit and then explode. And that's the problem. At least this is a little bit higher than last time. So if they explode, they shouldn't take the electric face post with them. But you just never know. So the stairs are going to be at the back over here. Uh, I need to take this a little bit back then. I want to make the stairs nice and wide, but only allow them to have access from this side. I don't want them coming over and then all of a sudden I'm surprised when I see them on top. And this needs to be titanium to make sure that we have as many zombies being able to walk here as possible. The only thing I'm a little bit worried about is the fact that the zombies coming from the back might try and break into the stairs instead of coming around for the stairs. And if that happens, oh, I don't know what we're going to do. Okay, to make sure that they don't go for the walkway over here, what we should probably do is just expand it a bit and then start the stairs. You don't want the stairs right next to the walkway, like uh, start the stairs over here. Because when, when they're standing on the bottom or the top stair over here, they're going to start breaking this. You don't want them breaking any of this stuff. Why is this red? It's just that one that's red and that bothers me. These are all fine. Which means I think they're at their max that they can handle right now. So I wonder if I add another row over here. So we're going to say copy rotation. And shape, or the first shape, then rotation. Will this help with structural integrity, or will it make, make it worse? Um, I'm going to go for shapes, for a plate. Pole plate, there you go. On face rotation. I'm going to go for the pole again. No, technically, you know, with this one, we need to use these, uh, this pole now. Copy shape, copy rotation, boom. No, it's getting too heavy. It's definitely getting too heavy, and that's a problem. 
The heavier this gets, the more it means it's going to cave in during Horde Night. Um, I might just have to... Why is, no, wait, why is that fine all of a sudden? So from this direction, it's the max that it's going to hold. But from this side, it can actually hold more. Look at that. So if I were to connect all of these together, would that help with structural integrity? Yes or no? Now I'm so confused. I'm actually thinking of using those super, super thin poles to just hold this up. If the zombies start breaking the poles, then at least those poles will help a little bit. For now, though, let's just focus on getting the staircase done. This is going to be our most important part right now. Because if the stairs fail, the base fails. Okay, it needs to be a little bit away from there, so we're going to start on this side. See, but some of these show red. Oh, that's because I'm in, the, uh, in there. Some of them show red for no reason, others just show red all the time. I don't know. It confuses me when some of these blocks... Some of the electric fence posts and stuff that you place as well show red. But as soon as you place them, they're fine. I just don't want to test it over there because if you place it and it caves in, you lose a lot of titanium. I'm going to have to go back to the base and eat a little bit of that stew and stuff that I had. As you guys are aware, I made myself... I, I forgot that I made myself a ton of stews. So we should be able to pull up our food quite fast if I go back there. Just want to focus on this quickly. Now, what I could do, I think I'm going to put some stairs over here. The more stairs are here, the faster the zombies are going to make it over, sure. But is there also less chance of them hitting each other. Remember, even though your turrets can't uh, set off the demolishers, apparently, the zombies hitting each other can. So the more demonic zombies explode in the demolishers' faces or hit the demolishers or whatever, that causes them to get set off. Okay, the stairs are way higher than I thought they're going to be. Oh, okay, so uh, they're going to be behind my base when they do this now. That is bad. That is bad. Okay, so they might just destroy the little, the first part of the stairs over here. That's going to be okay. It's not ideal, but at least if they st destroy the stairs to get up on the stairs, that's fine. I could also perhaps just over here... No, I, I don't want to do that. If I add stairs to the side, they might decide that they want to break into my base to try and get to me. The electric fence posts are only going to start from about here. So I could make a few stairs, but then uh, the demolishers... If they explode over here, they do a ton of damage. Yeah, can I place all of these blocks over here? I should probably be placing this more in the line of where the demolishers could run and explode. And I do still need to... I, I think I'm gonna, definitely going to have to go mining, guys. After this episode, I'm going to have to go mining some more, uh, for some more titanium. Because I'm going to have to make sure that my base... Remember, we still have to put all the electric face posts in. And if the zombies can explode or just vomit against it and stuff and destroy it, then we have a massive problem. Okay, so this is where the zombies can fall. Now that that is fully titanium. This on this side could be a little bit more titanium as well. The rest of this at the back over here, this could be just tight. Uh, this could just be steel. Like this kind of steel, the, the 20,000 or 20k steel. Remember, it's 20k. Underneath 20k, underneath 10k. So there's still a lot of the other uh, zombies have to break through. Ideally, we want to have 30k, 20k, 10k, 60k total that they have to break through to be able to tunnel underneath my base. What I could do, perhaps, to make sure that the stairs go up a little bit more, is I could start the electric fence post a little bit uh, later. But the problem is, if I do that, I need to make sure that I, sh I slow the zombies down just significantly over there. The more I slow them down, the more it's going to help us. If I allow them to get over too easily, it's going to negatively imp impact us. What I could do, though, is instead of having the electric fence post like this, just have it like I had last time where it's like this. Then we, it saves some space as well. I can actually uh, just play around more with the walkway over here. Um, I wonder if I shouldn't just have stairs on the back as well. I'm just so afraid that if the zombies only use this, they're definitely going to start wailing or breaking into the stairs over here. Let me just put these away quickly. Okay. So, damn. We are out of titanium. That's actually really, really bad right now. I think I'm going to wait until my food is really, really, really low before I go to the whole, uh, back to the base. I want to make sure we get as much done here as possible. I just hope the, uh, the screamers and stuff don't come for us right now. I should probably see... I don't think you can buy titanium, can you? I do want to go to the wasteland and mine a little bit in our mine. Because if I can get a stack of titanium, I can make, like, more laser weapons. Especially if I can make level 80 laser weapons. Even if they're not the best, um, or they're not the ones we're going to be using. I want to make sure we have level 80 so we don't have to worry about anything. 
only problem is obviously we can't make level 80s we have to make a ton of level 50s which is why i need a stack of titanium just for the weapons if i can make a laser automatic weapon like the laser carbine that should uh, that should help us tremendously during horde night Ooh, something i just thought of oh that was a misplaced um i just thought of this i didn't do anything over here it's only three deep so if the zombies start exploding by the dirt over here for some reason what am i gonna do i should probably take this floor out a little bit more and put some steel like five blocks out three deep but for now i'm just gonna have to waste uh, wait a little bit and just save up on resources these are the last steel blocks that i have and then yeah that's it uh i do have some steel left that i need to upgrade this uh, these blocks with but we're gonna take 20 steel per just to upgrade this steel to reinforce steel although it is necessary one we want to make sure that we are completely protected against the horde exploding you guys saw how much damage that i don't know how many of you guys saw my last horde night the uh, day 56 horde night but when the demolishers the giant demolishers explode on dirt they make massive massive pits so you want to make sure that if they explode at least the damage even though the floor it gets a ton of damage and the repairing it's a pain you rather repair the floor than have a massive crater right next to your base and then they start tunneling because as soon as the zombies start tunneling you are screwed i just realized something my stamina and everything's going to start going down because i'm out of food right if a wandering horde comes by right now and a few demonic zombies hit me with a the fire then i might just have a major problem because i'm low on water i could just drink my orange tea but the food's already going to fill up the water and foods so i don't want to waste my orange juice or orange tea just now i want to save it for doing a horde night when you really need the water Actually, i do have sand at the base right i should probably make myself some more jars as well now we have that many ovens we need to make as much water as humanly possible you know it's i think we should actually just make a steel staircase at the back i want to be able to just throw in this one angle but if I have to throw on this angle as well, why not? I'm just afraid that the zombie coming from back of here are either going to dig into the sides or going to do this and then dig into the side of here. You need that little bit more of a walkway for them to know where to go. But I think the stairs at the back of here, I'm only going to make steel. Not reinforced steel or any of that kind of steel. For now, just steel. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, so it's from over here, right? Yes. So it's one, two, three, four. And I just need to take this out then. Wait, how wide are the steps over here though? I want to make sure that there's at least a wall of this first. Remember what I said, it needs to be a little bit away from the walkway. If it's right next to the walkway, the zombie's going to stand on that step and then destroy the walkway. And then they're going to start going for your pillar and everything and that's going to suck. I should probably make this titan or steel and stuff as well. But guys, we have so many blocks, or so much steel anyways, that I can do a few repairs. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ooh, the fact that it's over here on dirt isn't really a good thing. Uh, but they shouldn't really use the stairs over here, unless they're trying to get to me from this direction. They shouldn't use these stairs. But what I could do with these stairs now, since they're going to be... No, I can't. I want to say, since, uh, there's, uh, since I have them on this side, I can have a staircase going up. The problem with that is, uh, once again, the electric fence posts. If you get in the way of the electric fence posts, then the zombies are just going to explode right next to them, taking away the power. I think the biggest problem for us was they destroyed all of our traps last horde, because they kept vomiting through the walls. And after they destroyed all our traps, we had no nothing slowing them down. So then all of the demolishers and behemoths, everything just started ganging up on us. Okay, now I need to make stairs as well. Ooh, okay. Um, yeah, we're gonna have just reinforced steel stairs, unfortunately, at the moment. I didn't even think about the stairs. That is bad. Okay, stairs full. You want to make sure that the stairs are as full as possible. Uh, because sometimes it actually affects their pathing if it's not filled. See, as soon as they start breaking a block or two to get to the stairs, for example, over here, then they should go around and use the stairs because they they path with stairs better than they do jumping up blocks if i have the resource i should probably just make a, a massive titanium mound over here the bigger the mound of titanium the bigger they're just gonna run over this then i can't use that all that much because the zombies gonna come from this direction as well i wanted to make sure that when i when i use that hole over there to throw stuff at them they can't get me from a weird angle 
But because I'm adding these stairs now, they might actually just be able to do that. Okay, so the zombies are going to run up from this side to try and get to me. They're going to run up like this. They're going to jump over like this. And they're going to go over like this. Now, what bothers me is this over here. Um, oh, no, I don't have titanium. I'm going to have to upgrade these. Ooh, I didn't think about that. Okay, so we need poles. I'm going to go for the super, super thin ones. Like so. I'm going to make sure that one... And this one aligns. I need to do this right. If I misplace right now, I don't want to waste any steel blocks. There you go. Now, if I upgrade all of that to titanium, that should help tremendously with uh, structural integrity. Especially since it shows that it's a little bit weaker on that side. Oh, I moved at just the wrong time just now. So I'm glad it placed in the right spot. So the nice thing with these thin poles is it has the uh, same amount of blocks or uh, hit points. And since there's four of them, the zombies have to destroy all four of a certain block. Say the second block, all four of them. Just to be able to make this cave in. So if they can't manage to do that, then I am safe. Okay, I'm just going to crouch and quickly see if I can't upgrade these to steel. And then I'll get you guys back right now. Okay, so I decided to go for the outside steps as well. Now all the stairs... Or at least on that side, not on the sides of here. The stairs of here are to, uh, reinforced steel. Then there's titanium blocks underneath. So even if the stairs go, they can still jump up. Um, I need to make this pole over here reinforced uh, titanium. Because reinforced steel is just not going to be enough. Um, it has 20,000 XP or HP. But if I can have that block, it's going to have 30,000 HP. So that's awesome. Then I still need to put in all the electric fence posts. But we still have time for that. First things first, I need to go eat. <laughs> as you guys can see, my food is super, super low right now. I need to make myself a ton of jars as well, so I can just fill up by one of these hydrants over here. I need to make sure we have, like, stacks and stacks and stacks of water. Okay, let's go. Um, I did it. Yeah, we put the food away in the boxes, right? So this should be done by now. Yep, there you go. Which means we can make way more scrap polymers already. These, I want to make sure that they weren't busy crafting something. No, I can actually now do this. Now that we have all of those others, we can actually just use them there. And then these, we're still busy crafting some steel. Two stacks of steel. Look at that. Now we don't have enough space. <laughs> okay, um, scrap, scrap, scrap. We don't need any of these. I know it's just a waste to scrap them. I should probably sell them and stuff. But that doesn't matter. I don't mind that right now. Oh, why didn't I wear this while I was upgrading? If I wore that while upgrading, we would have gotten more XP. I thought I had it on me. That's why I didn't uh, worry that much. Damn. Okay, so. How much cornmeal can we make? 800. Let's make 110. Uh, see, now instead of like... Let me just see how much is this. Instead of 30 minutes, it's like 3 minutes 40. Boom. Cornmeal over there. Cornmeal over here. And it's going to be barely a stack in each of these. And then they're done it within 3 minutes. So the nice thing is now, if we have all of these over here... I could just go and put 125, 125, 125, 125, and then just repeat the cycle. So basically, you don't want to have 125 times 6 slots. You want to do 125, 125, and go all the way through. So you know that the, it's going to finish 125 in each of them, and then go for the second block in each. It's a little bit tedious, but if it's done, it's done. You don't have to worry. Oh, look at all this water. It's been a while to so actually check the water, oh, so... Man. What can I get you? I think at the moment, they're just quickly full up on food. It's weird how it, sound, as it says that sound again when you reach a certain uh, lung, hunger level. Like, I just filled up and it says, Oh man, I'm so hungry! Like, dude, I know, that's what we're drinking. Okay, so we have... Let's just grab these over here. See, we have so much steel left, I can actually go and do the rest of my wood base in reinforced steel. Like the protection for the electric fence posts and all that stuff. But for now, I just really want to put this away. Like so. And just quickly focus on the food situation over here. More quill ammo. If we can make a ton, like stacks and stacks of quill ammo, then we can go and focus on having like a quill carbine. Basically, for those who don't know which, which one that is, it is this one. Basically, if we have all the appropriate mods in our whatever ammo or armor shredder fits in that one. If it does, oh, oh. it basically, and then also the advanced magazine extender. 
We can have one of this, one of the laser, one of the shotgun, one of the shotgun laser. So we want to make sure we have one of each and all of them, and that's just going to help us tremendously. Okay, I need jars now. I just used up all of my jars to make all of this water. Which isn't the, the most clever thing to do, actually. It's a shame there's no option for just dumping all of it out of the inventory over here. Just give it to me, dude. I want it. Okay, so how much can I make? Let's see. Um, It's about 234. 234. It is 39 minutes. Okay, let's just do this. 39 minutes we said, right? Boom, boom. I want to make sure I have the exact amount for both of them. Craft. Once again, we're going to run out of water. It's weird how we keep running out of water. Now we have so much... Guys, we haven't even used this cornmeal. It's like we never... I don't even have to harvest the next load of um, corn. Although, I, if I can make a whole container full of corn, we'll be set for a very long time. But what I need to do is actually also make myself a ton of jars. Because you're going to need to go and make way more water as well. So we do this... Jaws stack to 125, right? Oh, that's the only clay we have left. That's the problem right now. Oh, that's bad. Okay, so empty jars. Let's see. 125. I can actually make all of that right here. I don't even need the other workbenches right now. Uh, we can actually make 700 in this one. And 700 in this one. Damn, okay. We need way more clay. So I should actually see if the if Caitlin Trader doesn't have that as well. Also, what do I need for titanium doors? Vault door. Oh, you can also make this uh, the, uh, single sci-fi door, right? Although, I don't know if that's going to work the same when you like, like using it to block out zombies and stuff. It should work the same. It should. Yeah, no, we don't need the powered one. We need a normal vault door. Springs. Okay, let's use the springs one. Springs, and we need some steel from over here. So now we need to make three doors. One... Two and three. Probably just have a few to uh to back up in case those doors break during Horde Night. And then we're gonna need some steel to upgrade those doors all the way to the max level. Okay. Boom. Another problem is we're gonna run out. I think I should actually make this cornmeal. Corn meal. There you go. Let's drop all the cornmeal over here. And that way we're gonna have a whole box to just put all of that stuff in. I do have super corn. Wait, was I already in that corn house? Or was I in a corn house closer to my base? I can't remember if there was another corn that we passed, and that's what I looted. I want to go to Caitlin, but now it's late. Um, I could go mining, but it's very dangerous to go mining at nighttime, especially in that biome. Uh, food, water's doing okay. Let me just quickly drink something. And yeah, the problem right now is the fact that I need titanium. I need to go for it. Definitely, I need to. But it's so dangerous at this time or this hour of the day. Let me just see. Where is my titanium pick? Guys, I mine forever and this thing is only at this level or durability. So, yeah, it's going to take forever for these things to break. Bobbing, we're just going to put that away. And then meds. Okay, I need to also start my farm or do the second layer, second, third, fourth layers of my farm. I'm gonna put these tools away in tools for now. I need to sort this out as well. Okay, so let's just quickly go and mine a little bit of titanium. Um, we, we just basically need a stack. And then I need to go mine later because that later one's gonna be for more titanium for the base. Technically, our wood base is fine just as it is right now. But we do need that little bit. No, I think we do have a little bit of forged titanium for repairs at least. Like 250 or something. So I shouldn't have to worry too much about repairs. But now we are set. I just need to get to Caitlyn, all that stuff as well. I'm going to sell that. Where's my buggy? Okay, so we need to head to my titanium mine over here. I need to get there before night time so I can just jump in and not have to worry too much. Last time I was there, actually I had a ton of problems with zombies spawning on top. So I had to let them just fall down to me and then kill them in the hallway. But if I can get there before 10, remember, Feral Sense is all. So we shouldn't have as much of a problem now mining as we had last time. With Feral Sense on, when you're mining, even when you're crouched, they sense you from super far away. So then mining becomes almost 
impossible. I want to get more of a hazmat. Come on. I don't know why we're getting so unlucky with the hazmat. I literally just need three more hazmat pieces and then we'll be able to go and make the last hazmat mod for our armor. Then I don't have to worry about uh, wearing a crappier version of my titanium or my power armor. I can just wear a full titanium. Okay, no, uh, this sucks. Let me just put that where we can reach it easily. I need to make sure that every time I pick this up, I can just immediately pick it up. So that's why I'm going to have it on my belt. Oh, I put it on my belt just now. Oh, gas is almost done as well. Oh, from there I was like, wait, what? I, I just cut away and then cut back. I thought I might not have done this bookstore over here. Now I remember I did both these bookstores. Oh, damn. Guys, if I can master farm and just save the points for the other stuff, that's going to be so awesome. But to do that, we just need to go looting more. It's been a really long time since I've actually just gone looting. But like I said, the horde base it takes priority right now. We need to make sure that's at least done before we even consider going just looting and scavenging and basically exploring. Like a Messiah Factory might have some books upstairs. I wonder if there's any other bookstores close by. Oh no, now it's late. Where's my farm? Where? Oh, it's right there. That's my farm. At least I am protected. Oh, I am protected, yes. Okay, some zombies spawning in the distance, but they shouldn't hear us right now. Let me just do this. The lower down we get, the better. If we get low enough, then the zombies won't be able to sense or hear us at all. I just want to quickly get a stack of titanium and then we should be done. As you guys can see, there's so much still left over here. Okay, so to make sure we get this as fast as humanly possible, we're just going to go like this. Now that one can actually stay on. All of these need to go onto my pick, so I can do max damage to these blocks quickly. Okay, just do this, do this. Okay, so I'm going to quickly cut away, guys. I'm just going to quickly get a stack of titanium. And as you guys can see, I can just power attack. My stamina doesn't run out at all. And if I can get a stack of titanium quickly, we can make a ton of laser weapons. And we might even be able to make a ton of power armor as well. Okay, now there's definitely zombies hearing us on top. So far, I haven't really had a problem with zombies digging down and stuff, but I might just start having that happen. Okay, so as you guys can see, it's basically this easy to get a stack of iron. Uh, or oh, a stack of titanium. I've just been digging this little bit over here, and we're almost already at 10k. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, now we just have to get outside. The problem is now, obviously, the zombie's breaking stuff on top. So, hopefully when we stack up over here, they come to us and we can actually just quickly kill them. Okay, my buggy is... Okay, the zombie's that side. The nice thing is when I'm crouched, I can actually exactly see where the zombies are. There's quite a few around me right now. I wonder what the yellow means. Green's probably radiated. Yellow means probably demon. I don't know. But as you guys can see, they're quite fast. They're moving at the moment. Um, I think my buggy is right there. Right on this side. So all I have to do is quickly just jump up. Just turn the lights off. Boom. Turn the light on and we are out of here. Oh, nice. Okay. But yeah, we just got a stack of titanium just like that. That's why I want to... Oh, look how powerful this thing is. That's why I want to actually come back here and just quickly mine a little bit more. Oh, come on. I'm getting stuck of here now. Uh, for Horde Knight, guys, we just need a little bit more titanium so we know we are completely set. Where's my Horde base? This direction. It's so hard getting back to uh, through town like this. So take the, you know what? I'm going to uh, drive around. If you drive around town... Yeah, you just have to drive straight down. So I'm going to just aim for that. And then turn. There you go. Now all we have to do is go straight down the line of here. And we should be able to get back to the base easily. It's way easier driving on... Oh, no, stop, 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 stop. It's way easier driving around town than going through town, especially with all the city and the city blocks and stuff in the way. 
Okay, we are back at the Horde base. Which we see, okay, I need to make some titanium stuff. I, see, I, I think I'm gonna make some power armor. And then, yeah, next episode, what I wanna do next episode, guys, is I wanna go, oh, this gun's still powerful. I keep forgetting to use it, though. What we need to do next episode, like, need to do, I wanna go for the Sevilla. So basically, there's two shotgun shops over there. I'm gonna go get this drop. We're quickly gonna go to Caitlin and buy some resources. And then I wanna come back and I wanna go and just complete this horde base. Uh, basically, at the moment, the horde base is almost done. I just need to put all the electric fence posts in there and then the power. And as soon as the power's in, we don't have to worry about a single thing because the traps will help us during horde night. I just hope the structural integrity is fine. Um, I wanted to go mining, but I think I'm going to test the horde base as is. It's already way more powerful than our old one. Like, way more. Uh, the design is just a little bit weird with the stairs going up in the wrong spot. But yeah, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully, it actually works really well. Look at this, 10,300. Okay, that's nice, 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 nice. Okay, these should be done as well with their jars. Yeah, I just need more clay. If I can buy some clay from Caitlin, like a few stacks, I don't have to go mining for it. I know you guys say, just go mining, dude. But guys, I just prefer, just buy, uh, for the series' sake, to speed things up, I buy stuff. If I was playing on a server with you guys and just having fun, chilling, then I'd actually go and do it legit. Um, just go mining for everything. If you are here I'm not buy, legit. It's not, it's, it's not that it's not legit. But you guys get what I mean, right? Okay, so we need some resources. Let's get all of that, though. Um, and then I need to, just need to make a few parts of here. Okay, so... Um, this one we're going to need about... Five. Six, seven. Okay, let's go for ten. Ten of that one. Shotgun stock. I'm going to make ten of this one as well. There's, uh, okay, 10 receivers and shotgun barrels. So now we can make 10 shotguns, right? I want to make a carbine as well. So what we're going to need for the carbine is the carbine barrel. 10. Carbine receiver. 10. And carbine stock. 10. Then we're going to need more of these. Okay. Um, then I want to make myself the sniper rifle. So what I'm going to do is, because we already have a laser pistol and we have way more coming anyway, so that's fine. Laser stock, we're going to make 10. So this is a rifle right now. Basically, this is going to make sure that we can actually make a sniper rifle level 80 more or less. If I combine all of these, we'll definitely have enough. If I can make a level 80, that's going to be awesome. And then... That's rifle, rifle, rifle. More weapon parts. Okay, now what I need to do... Is I want to make myself some power armor. I think the power armor goes in this one over here. So yeah, I think I should wait for this because it uses 10 forged titanium per. We're going to need about 100 titanium to get everything to level 80. The military fibers as well, that requires 10 and we only have... 10. <laughs> we only have 10. So I think what I'm going to do is during the night, I should really quickly go and Hello, just traveler. do a little bit of farming, like put the uh, swirl down till it. And then next episode, we have to go to Caitlyn. We have to go for this drop if there's a drop, and we have to go for these shotgun things over here. And then we can fi uh, finally figure out finishing our horde base. I want to also loot this one over here, because we need 170 more skill notes to be able to just master our farmer class. And then I'm going to save our points to get the completionist. But yeah, okay, uh, let me just quickly do this. So laser shotgun, I'm going to make 10 of that one. That was fast. Uh, laser rifle. No, let's just do laser carbine first, and then laser rifle. Now we have way more than enough laser weapons. And if I can combine these quickly, so you just do this. We should be able to get to level 80 with the amount of, uh, definitely make level 80 with the amount I made. I want to see exactly how many I need to combine, though, to be able to get to level... No, that's the wrong one. Level 80. Wait, why can't I go any higher than this? Oh, I think there's a cap right now because I don't have the completionist. So that's the max you can get your laser weapons. It's only when you have completionist. Oh, that sucks. That's so dirty. You have to have completionist to have level 80 laser tech, it seems. Oops. So for now, I can only go up to level 71. If I go any higher than that, it doesn't... Wait, what? 
So uh, that was bullshit that what I just said. Uh it was wrong. 71. Why does it a laser run? Okay, it's probably oh that's a carbine. Carbine, carbine, carbine. Rifle. Okay, these things are mixed, that's why. I, I couldn't figure out what the hell was going wrong. <laughs> okay, guys, just take back what uh, I take back what I said just now. We can make it little 80s. I don't know why I did that wrong just now. Okay, so we have the shotgun, we have the rifle. Now I need you to use the carbines. So if I grab something and it doesn't make a level 80 or go higher, then we know that I grabbed a rifle again. This is carbine as well. Boom. Okay, so we have one, two, three left. So we need seven. You need seven of that weapon or seven of the item to be able to make a level 80. That's the same with the power armor. So I need seven, 350 forged titanium, but we don't have any clay right now. I need 350 forged titanium. This stuff over here. To be able to make ourselves a power armor. I should I should probably be able. How much can I make? That's the divided by that's 20. Can't really calculate because I don't have the clay right now. But basically, all I need right now is clay, and then we can make ourselves way more of this, but not enough. I need to go mining or at least go talk to Caitlin. But now we do have the titanium armor, so I don't have to worry too much. I can actually yeah. just put this back on. I'm starting to think but as soon as I can, I want to see if we can't make ourselves some power armor as well. This is power, so we're gonna sell that one, and then the weapons go over here. I need to make sure that I have level 80 laser tech on me at all times. Especially this laser carbine. If I can get it fully maxed out with my quill carbine, Ward Knights are going to be way easier. But then I need way more quill ammo as well. At the moment, we just don't have the right amount of quill ammo. So next episode, I'm going to definitely have to focus on quite a few things. The first things first. What I need to do is make quill ammo. Or oh, I might just do that. If I, if I complete the farm quickly enough now, I'll just quickly do that. I need to make some quill ammo and then I'll, or quill batteries at least. And then we do the shotgun, go for the drop, and then go for Caitlyn. So if you guys like this episode, please like share with your friends. Any comments and tips or feedback, leave them below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time for some more Darkness Falls fun. A big thank you to all my members and patrons for your support. To join them in supporting the channel, please click join or the Patreon link in the description down below.